The year is 2318. The location, the skyborne metropolis of Kaldoria. Finally, the terrible memories of Earth's world wars have started to fade. After discovering the strength of unification, humanity reclaimed and restored their once ravaged planet. However, all of these accomplishments have become threatened by man's most incredible discovery, time travel. Frightened by its potential for disaster, government leaders immediately seized the time machine, codenamed Pegasus, and moved it to a secret location. Realizing that the integrity of the time continuum would now have to be forever guarded, the unified Earth government formed an elite agency to protect history. On a day when an unlikely and unproven member of this team was monitoring the time stream, the unimaginable occurred. Gage Blackwood, Agent 5 of the Temporal Protectorate, would be called upon to prevent a crisis that will threaten history itself, a crisis that could destroy not only the past, but also the future of humankind. This is the story of Earth's most timely hero. And uh, right on time, this is uh, a recently released remake of the first Journeyman project uh, called Pegasus Prime. Uh, so basically it's made by Presto Studios, a pretty cool Mac-focused adventure game company from the 90s. And the lead designer, uh, Tommy Yoon, recently... Uh, Sponsored a remake, which features um, yep, features interesting uh, new content, new CG that was meant to be at least on another version. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start before that happens again. So, see you on the other side. sounds of WKIM too big. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Don't tell me you overslept. Whoa, you look awful. Did you have another one of those nightmares? You know, you really should talk to the doc about that. Anyway, this is just a friendly reminder that uh, you're supposed to relieve me at 0700. Remember, it was your idea to draw straws, and you drew the short one. So, you get to hold down the fort while the rest of us go and watch the Sabrolan delegate procession. Look, you always wanted to be the Lone Ranger. Now, get down here on time for a change, and I'll let you watch my op man when I come back. See you later. Wake up. Wake up. Good morning, Agent 5. It seems that you have slept with your neuroocular prosthesis on again. Your monocle needs recalibration. Stand by. The energy level warning light is operational. The energy level counter is at 100%. Scrolling through the inventory control panel. You currently have no inventory items. 
scrolling through the biochip display panel. You have the AI biochip installed. Initiating self-diagnosis of onboard artificial intelligence. AI unit is fully operational. Agent 5, recommend you set an electrostatic shock reminder so this repeated morning recalibration routine does not continue. And with that, we are in the game. I think I'm going to turn the sound down a wee bit because it seems to automatically do that. Uh, automatically set itself to very high volumes, which I think should be fixed in future saves. But uh, for now, we're at our apartment. So let's see. All right, we slept on the couch again because Gage Blackwood seems to be a bit of a schlub. And uh, looks to be a hover couch. So it's pretty well designed future tech. Agent 5, you are due for your shift at the Temporal Security Annex. Recommend departure soon. So, the Temporal Security Annex is where we work. We're a uh, little bit of a jobber in the time travel industry. Um, it's our job to safeguard history, and there's more to it, but the game takes pretty good care to kind of explain the alternate future they're kind of running with. This is where we should have slept, our bedroom. Um, it's where you wake up in the first, or the first version of this game, I suppose. Um, this game was made primarily because of the massive uh, advances in um, FMV technology for adventure games at the time and the creators of this game were very much in love with the time travel concept and later games are neat. Oh, of course this is where uh, the future time travel guy hides his keys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that and um, but yeah uh, so this is a remake of the first game it came out in the 90s nothing in here and uh, a lot of it's FMV centric, but it's a really pretty game with kind of thoughtful uh, mechanics. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Please make a selection. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get some unhealthy stuff. As per your diet, Cafe Borgia is not a viable option. Well, it seems like in the future, technology is pretty judgmental. The synthesizing electrolyte protein mm. nutrient number four. Share and enjoy. Mm. Beautiful uh, little Agent whoop. Five, you are late for your scheduled shift at the TSA. Yeah, so a large part of what this game does is it uses certain uh, triggers during this part to kind of um, see how late you actually are. So based on what things you search, what kind of things you look at, um, trigger your artificial in intelligence friend to get more and more um, judgmental of your lifestyle. Anyway, this is your answering machine, so Good morning, let's see. Mr. Blackwood. You have two messages. First message. Just calling to say thanks for the Thai food last night. Sorry I had to leave so early, but this story is the biggest break of my career. I think you'll be able to catch me on your environ system. I'll call you later. Bye. And that's our 90s wife. She's a beautiful woman and well, I respect her in every way I can. Second message. Good morning, Agent 5. I sincerely hope the reason you're not answering your phone is because you're already on the way to TSA. You've already been late to work twice this week. I need you here on time for a change to relieve Agent 3 for the alien procession. Don't disappoint me. And that's the future equivalent of our um, chief who... Uh, doesn't quite like our methods, but respects the fact that we get the job done. Here's our future bathroom, where you can read some news on the toilet with a holla paper, which will come right up. The wait is over. At precisely 6 a.m. West Coast time, a Cerolan space vehicle entered Earth's atmosphere and landed on the lawn in front of Caldoria's Capitol building. Although the city square is being kept clear for the ceremony, crowds of onlookers have formed on the fringes, eager to catch a glimpse of the Cerolan ambassador as he emerges from the spacecraft to shake hands with Dr. Castillo, symbolizing our acceptance into the symbiotry of peaceful beings and forever changing the course of human events. Stay tuned for more. Well, okay, 
newspaper man. I will see you the next time I uh, sit down on my toilet. Oops. I guess we were doing something behind the scenes there. Anyway, uh, in the cold cyber future, showers are even less comfortable. Oop, don't want to go there. I'll go to my shower. Huh, maybe, oh, there we go. So, uh, sacrificing hot shower for cold utilitarianism. We will see how that works right now. Sonic shower. Please keep all appendages within the sterilization ring. Sterilization complete. Have a nice day. Hmm. Can't really let any uh, uh, sonic waves lightly flow through your hair. That's a little bit of a little frustrating, I guess. Good morning, Mr. Blankwood. Stand by for health check scans. Your body fat today is 15%. Today's tip, cut back on the Chinese takeout. Like I said, Please uh, choose a hairstyle. most of the technology here, a little judgmental. And uh, going with kind of our rogue um, style here, let's go with retro thrash hairstyle. Retro thrash. Hmm. Sorry, that request is inappropriate for your current work schedule. Well... Not if I get the results I need. Let's try GeoWave just for the Geo sake. Wave. Sorry, that request is inappropriate for your current work schedule. <sighs> A lot of uh, technology based to jet. They're built entirely to make me feel bad about my taste. All Agency right. standard. And looks like an inappropriate amount of gel is the way to roll in this terrible future we've created for ourselves. That's our environ system. Um, we're not going to play with it right now, because I think we actually do have to get to work at this phase in the game. So, uh, we've pretty much explored the apartment, so let's head out into Caldoria Heights, our floating apartment complex. Which also... Listen to the cool jazzy beats. Um, I really love the music in this game. Anyway, um, so what's basically happening today, in case you didn't catch all the exposition, um, a... I'm not home right now. Susie, if this is you, meet me down by the Capitol building. I got an absolutely Torg spot to watch the procession. Torg is a pretty rad, um, 90s word they came up with. Anyway. Agent 5, you have nearly exceeded the optimal departure time in order to be punctual. Recommend that you leave for the TSA at once. Alright, we will. We'll stop having fun. I promise. Um... But yeah, so what's basically going on in uh, the world is aliens are uh, actually doing first contact. And because of our uh, job at the Temporal Security Annex, we have to... Um, oh, we'll see a dude here who's FMV'd into the game. Pretty neat. Roof access. Anyway, um... Because of our job safeguarding history, uh, we, as a result, aren't able to go see first-time aliens see humans. Uh, we have to hold down the fort at a largely boring um, desk job, simply maintaining the flow of time. So we're going to head down to the lobby, because the game doesn't let you go anywhere else. So, the first floor of our apartment complex. Maybe we'll see some cool CG stuff they added in. Though, might not be the case. Not even a front door. Kind of a... Kind of silly, but whatever. Anyway, um, in the future, you don't use front doors. Instead, you use global transport systems, which we will see in a second. After we click some stuff. Hmm. Neato. So that that would looks like the alien ship. 
So that's what we're gonna be missing out on today. And as you can see, there's a glass dome uh, surrounding everything because we are floating in the air. And here's what you buy when you shop Caldoria. Welcome to the Caldoria Heights Apartments, with the best view of the world's first floating metropolis. While here, feel free to visit our rooftop observatory. Located directly across from the Capitol Building in Sector 3, Caldoria Heights plays to a number of luxurious accommodations. Our 15 units offer ample living space and the very best views of the city. Aluminized steel plumbing and titanium bathroom fixtures are standard. And topping off this list of distinctive features is a high-res 4D environment system built into each and every living room. Designed for metro properties by Marco Giappetti, Calduria Heights offers comfortable accommodations in an attractive environment. And that's uh, the ad that sold Gage, Blackwood, or Us on this beautiful deluxe apartment system and this uh, coffin is actually how you get around please insert your global transport card now now if we hadn't found his keys we wouldn't be able to get through this part which actually First time I played this when I was about six years old. I'm now 23. Uh, it took me forever to figure out where his keys were. And I thought there was some problem with the game. And I was very stupid, let's just say that. Anyway, slide this bad boy. Choose a destination. Now, uh, I'm gonna save here and show off a couple of deaths. That, does that go through? Let me just make sure. Let me save one more time. Because it'd be rough. Alright, let's see uh, Flagstaff Beach, which is a joke because as someone who lives in Arizona, Flagstaff is cold, assuming global warming happened. Uh, they're saying that we lost California, I guess. Anyway, let's click it. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substrata. Prepare for molecular disintegration. And that's our first death. And this one is titled Uncreated. Safeguarding history is the responsibility of the temporal, pre temporal protectorate agent. In your absence from the TSA, a temporal disruption was not averted and uncreated you. Which, whew, man, it's a real source of uh, frustration. Now we're going to load gamer life and make the right decision. Choose a destination. TSA restriction restricted. Because only cool Four people. Detected in transport. Please hold for tracking and sterilization process. Foreign element eliminated. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substrata. Prepare for molecular disintegration. I really like this game. I don't know. It's, uh, the art when you die is nice looking and funny. And, uh, apparently the creators of this game have seen the fly. So, thing closed. And, uh, that's how you get to the TSA. There's no other way in. It looks to be underground. And let's walk on this cool moving sidewalk thing. Please hold for 
ID check. Scanning. Verification of central cortex scan. Scanning for biotech implant. Identification confirmed. Welcome, Agent 5. Your fourth late arrival has been verified and logged. So help me if I miss the first human encounter with alien beings. Then I guess we'll uh, both share something. Now, we could listen to these guys kind of rant at you about time travel. It's kind of spooky. But, uh... The role of government is to protect the innocent and promote peace. With this new, unified world, the Earth stands on the verge of a peace that will forever change the face of you. I always found those terrifying. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a bonus video with all of this content because it tends to be a little, a little talky. Um, this part of the game is a little on the talky side, but it is actually uh, trying to kind of um, prepare you for mm, what's the overall plot of the game, which does kind of rely on some of the backstory to be understood. That's the Pegasus machine right there. We might be visiting that later, but that's assuming anything goes wrong, which, I mean, who would have the chutzpah to try to mess with time, right? And those, uh... Power generators for, uh, I don't know, future tech, I guess. It's kind of neat. So you finally decided to make it into work. And only 32 minutes late this time. Obviously, you think PSA rules do not apply to you. Well, you are wrong. As of now, you're grounded. One week of review and data cleanup work in the command center. And you can start by reviewing TSA agent procedures, which you've obviously forgotten. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and call the first video, because uh, the next part is pretty talky. And I think I'm going to make that kind of an optional video. Um, anyway, I will see you on the other side. Later, guys.